7 Action News starts right now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news tonight is a plane crash in the backyard of a home in Detroit. Thank you for joining us here at 10. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. It happened around 830 on Duchess Street. That's near Morang and Kelly on the east side. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass is live at the scene for us. And Brett, what have you learned so far about what happened and any injuries? Well, Brian, uh, it's really miraculous, but there are only very minor injuries. We see uh, saw some people we believe were on the plane. They were actually walking away from the scene here. So uh, it seems that it's a very uh, lucky, in a way, situation of what happened. But this plane landed basically in between two different garages. Uh, we just spoke to Chief James Harris from the fire department, uh, and he says, uh, yeah, the plane uh, clipped some trees. It did not clip any power lines, uh, but it clipped a few trees, ended up landing uh, kind of in between two garages. Didn't hit any homes. There's an elementary school nearby. It didn't hit that elementary school. Uh, it's a smaller engine plane. We've seen some photos uh, from some of the witnesses that we talked to of that plane in the backyard. We've also seen uh, Chief James White here from the police department on scene. So a massive response. We've seen uh, you know a few fire trucks here as well, but there was no fire either. Uh, it's really uh, pr pretty miraculous uh, how this plane was able to land in between those two garages. And we heard from a witness about what he saw. And I seen a plane. Plane. It was moving like in slow motion. It was like. Um, it's hard to explain because it was going so slow that you're like, wow, why is the plane this low? It hit some trees and you could see that it, it, when it exactly landed, it was like boom, 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 boom. And everybody ran and we ran in the backyard and everybody was just trying to help make sure everybody was okay. Like, hey, are you okay? Can you get out of there? It might be some wires down. I believe it was a wire down. I think everybody made it out safe. So it, it was just a, a blessing. And again, uh, that, that plane uh, landed there, no one really injured, uh, but we do have uh, Chief James White here uh, on scene and he's about to give us an update, I think momentarily. momentarily. Okay. Uh, it's not gonna be live. Chief, I'm trying to set up for live. You wanna do live, Facebook live? Smile. Give me one sec. Yep, one sec. I'll go ahead and give it to him. All right, Chief, what, what happened here tonight? Uh, about 8.30. Uh, it's all preliminary right now, uh, so this is subject to change. But here's the good news. No one's injured. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, but 12,000 block of Dutchess around 8.30 p.m. Uh, plane crash in the backyard, something you certainly don't see every day. And thank God you don't see it every day. Um, we were expecting the worst, but no one's injured. Uh, there's no fuel spills. It's a single engine plane, uh, small plane. Uh, no power lines are down. Uh, the residents of the home are okay. Sh shaken up, as you can imagine, but okay. And uh, that's where we're at right now, uh, that's, and there's not a whole lot more to report. Well, can you tell us about the, the mentality of the two people that were on board that plane as they were able to get off uninjured? Yeah, uh, the pilot did an amazing job. We don't know yet what caused him to lose control or if it was an engine failure. I, I don't want to speculate, uh, but he's up and walking. His passenger is up and walking. The entire passenger compartment of the plane is just collapsed, so he could have been hurt. Um, you know, the garage needs a little bit of work that he hit, but uh, everything else is okay. I mean, so it, this is the best of a bad situation when the community's not injured and the family's house isn't on fire. It's, it's a good evening. So uh, we're going to wait for the federal uh, partners to come out and do their investigation, but that's where we're at. Do you know if they were trying to land in, in a nearby park or anything or, and then ended up there? You know, this is a, a federal investigation, so it's not appropriate for me to investigate and, and ask those questions. Uh, so what we're doing here is, is preservation of life, making sure that the area is secure uh, for the TSB and others to come out and do their thing. But um, right now, that's all we got. Uh, I'm not going to get into what, what he said. That's going to be part of a bigger investigation. Once that's declassified, we'll share it if it's needed to be shared. Can you describe a little bit about the scene? Because we can't see it from where we're at. Just it's, You mentioned a garage. Is it a tight backyard? It, it is. It's very tight, very close. Um, you know, you've got power lines, you've got uh, trees, you've got the garage. He came in right over a tree, hit the tree. Uh, the branches fell on top of the garage. He clips the garage as he goes down. And the, the plane is actually wedged between the gate and the garage. It is absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like it. This is my second plane crash that I've seen. This one, uh, it's amazing that he's not hurt. All right, Chief. That's all we got. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.
Again, from her, you're from Chief White there, kind of the miraculous nature of this, uh, that two people uh, were able to walk out of this plane. Uh, we do know from looking up that tail number, it was registered out of Gross Point Shores, but we really don't know uh, where the plane was coming from or where it was heading to. But again, those two people uninjured. Reporting live on the east side of Detroit on Broadcast 7 Action News. Well, that is the best news out of that incredible recovery. Brett, thank you for the update.